Hello and welcome to this new video. Please don't be scared. I know, she looks a bit scary. Um, she has no nose. I love her. Um, welcome. <laughs> this video is all about cosplay or like one part of cosplay that if you are starting, if you want to cosplay or crossplay, whatever, um, like wigs are a big part of that many times except you have the perfect haircut for one exact character, which is great and all. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> if you want to completely destroy your hair with hairspray, then do that. I'm just kidding. There are characters where you can just leave your hair like that. But regardless, back to the topic. <laughs> one big issue with cosplaying is always, like, money. <laughs> because it's not really like it's a kind of expensive hobby okay <laughs> so if there are any of you who are like damn i really want to cosplay and i really want it to look good i don't want to be i don't know that one weird weeaboo kid that's always on convention and um all are like oh god what is that <laughs> you know you don't want to be that guy probably I guess. So, um, this is just a video about how I uh, style wigs sometimes in a very, like, cheap manner. <laughs> and also, like, that they still look kind of okay. Um, on the topic of looking kind of okay, I'm sorry for my face color and also my hair and stuff. It's so warm. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> so, let's let's start. I think she will fall if I don't hold her, but... So, what are the utensils I use? you already seen one. That's This is a mannequin hat. Uh, I know it looks scary. I, I have it like on a coffee table in my room and I always like turn its face to the wall so it doesn't look at me while I sleep. I'd recommend that because it's fucking creepy, like... The fuck? No, sorry. <laughs> Got a bit of topic, off topic there. Um, a mannequin head isn't, like, necessary, but they're pretty cheap. And also, it can be a pain in the ass to style a wig and not have anything to really put it on. Or, like, something where it will stay. Because um, wigs uh, are kind of like, I don't know, like a cat that doesn't want to be uh, hugged in the moment and so tries to, like, snake its way out. Yeah, like that. <laughs> the other thing that would be great if you want to style a wig is a wig. <laughs> this one uh, is black. It's a bad example, I know, because you can't really see it. It has a fringe, cute little, uh, very straight fringe. I will not put it on right now because it looks stupid without makeup and stuff. Uh, it's pretty long. It's it's a very long wig. It's, um yeah. Uh, it kind of looks like uh, the hair of a witch right now, which is, which is also cool, but not the look I'm going for. <laughs> I don't have a character I want to style the wig to, I just want to, like, I don't know, tidy it up today. So, yeah. So, um, there are different methods to put a wig on. This is not a video about that, but, um, like, when I put it on this head, I always try to go from front to the back, because it's a lot easier to, like, maybe push it a bit upwards to the hairline then to pull it down especially when it's on your head and your hair is in the way it can hurt so much to just pull your own hair with the wig don't do that <laughs> if you're on a convention and you're like shit my wig is like really just destroyed at the moment it's just it just, it just doesn't fit well anymore go to the toilet put it off and put it back on don't like you can try to like move it a bit but please do not Pull it your own hair. It's so painful. <laughs> so <laughs> I always like see this is a bit too much at the front. <laughs> so the sliminess begins. Then you just pull it down, like from the back. So my other hand here, not really that. So just pull it down a bit. So it fits on the head. Right now, of course, it's still like a bit too much in her face, but that doesn't really matter. We just want it to stay. We don't want it to look good. <laughs> so 
So one tip, if you don't have a mannequin head that's like, you know, like plastered onto something that's just uh, movable and you have a very long haired wig, just put the hair on the table and don't let it stay down there because if you do that, you'll always do this and it's really annoying, you always have to hold it, so just get the hair laid on the table. <laughs> So now, how do I style a wig if it's like really just a mess? <laughs> Please, just one thing that you should not do is just don't just get a comb and like plow through there. It's not real hair. It's not like really, you can pull it out pretty easily. So please don't do that. The wig will look destroyed after that. You'll have like a ball of hair in your hand and you're like, oh, hmm. Well, now my wig has all these little holes where, I, where there are just no hair. So please don't. <laughs> now, but what can I use to like comb a wig? <laughs> I know this looks very stupid because this is something where you like clean the hooves of um, horses with. But um, it, it's not about this thing. It's about the structure of this. You know, because you don't want to like really go between the hair. You just want to go over it to like flatten it out, to like straighten it out. So it's like not as messy. You can always like, they're like really big knots. You can always like just pull them out with your hands. Just don't rip it apart. The wig will break. <laughs> just... Another disclaimer of this is thin, synthetic, ha synthetic hair, it's, it's like, it's plastic. Of course it will break a lot more easily. <laughs> so, please be careful with this. Also, don't go really like in, go over it. I will show you in a second what I mean by that. <laughs> but first, where do I start with styling a wig? Like, do I start from top to bottom or bottom to top or front to back? What do you do? I always try to like do the fringe at last because um, well this fringe is already kind of styled but it it kind of lays over the other things so if you style it first and you want to like do some like uh, yeah like hair strand at the, at the side or something you know if you put that over it and then you want to style that fraction of the hair this will get messed up again so try to do the very cool part of the hair, like little strands of hair that are like, pew, like anime style, you know. Um, try to do that at last. <laughs> just try to do the basics at first, like the whole hair that will just hang down. Do that first, then the fringe and then maybe the accents, like something like that. Just go wild, go freaky, go crazy, you know. Uh... <laughs> so, when you have something, when you have found something like this, it can also be like... Um, a little uh, other like brush you found that looks kind of like this just don't use something that's too pointy and will go in between the hair and rip it out don't do that again <laughs> sorry I just need to say this because I see it so much so many people do that and they'll destroy their wigs and it's like <sighs> kind of a waste of money <laughs> so what I do is always I try to keep like just get the whole hair thing and then I try to separate it in at least two different parts. You'll always want to start from the end. Please don't go just like this because again you're ripping the hair out. Stop! Stop! <laughs> there are already not that many hair on top of it. It's not really that much hair on top of here so don't try to rip things out. Good. Now that we have that, let's start. You can do different things to like not pull the hair out as much. You can like maybe like twist it once or twice so you have like an, it's like a lock so the hair doesn't really like if you pull the force doesn't really get here. You can't really get pulled out as easily. You can just maybe put it on the table, do something like this. So we can see it's already becoming a bit more like real hair. Also, if your character has like really spiky hair or stuff, I'd always recommend to go like a more 
natural route first and then try to spike it or stuff. Don't go just, but I don't need it to be all tidy. I can just do it like this. Because then it will look kind of like, well, somebody put very much hairspray in hair and now it's a bit crickly and weird. The hair in anime is still like drawn to be hair and not plastic. So if you maybe like let it look a bit more realistic than in the anime, it's not that bad because then people are just like, yeah, because that's his hair, of course it will look a bit more realistic. <laughs> So now you can see this part is rather flat and beautiful. The hair back here looks a lot more natural than before. Of course it's still a bit tangly because I didn't style it yet, but um, it's a bit more brushed out and straight. Yeah, you can see the difference, like this part is a lot more straight, this one is still tangly and weird and like just one hairball. We don't want that. We want it to look like this because then it will look natural. So if you want to style the hair now, what do you do or what can you do? I'm going to say something that will probably get many people angry, especially the ones that are actually cosplaying because it's always the one thing that on every internet site they're like, don't use hairspray. <laughs> Well, it worked for me. <laughs> this is also a different kind of hairspray. It's not like normal everyday hairspray. It's something that's a bit more extreme. It will really just keep the hair as it is. Um, I don't know the English word. It's called a lack hairspray. So, yeah. Um, if you're like really sure you want to keep like this very straight, you can just shake it a bunch of times and then with enough like space in between you don't want to go too like too much into the wig just say it on there a couple of times then you can even like still form the hair in the way you want like i want it to be really straight so i just go like this yeah um i don't know what to do with the ends right now i'll just spray the middle part so it will also be a bit straighter yeah you can really like really style a wig really easily like that it just just takes some um practice i guess <laughs> yeah now you can see it's really really straight and it, it looks unnatural of course because no one's hair is that straight but um you don't want to you just want to like find the middle be between very unnatural and pretty realistic <laughs> now i hear you say but what if I buy a wig and it's too long or maybe I buy a wig and I don't want the fringe to look that way maybe it's like a middle part a uh, fringe that just goes like two strands at the side but I want to have like little strands that go to all the sides well I can help you with that but this will take a bit more practice <laughs>